So you're finally ready to switch from Streamlabs OBS over to OBS, but you don't want to lose all the work you've put in, not only to your overlays, but to your alert box, and you don't want to have to redesign all that. Well, today I've got you. Not only am I going to show you how to do it very easily, but I'm going to make it to where you can convert to this new program, OBS, with Stream Elements in a very seamless fashion. Let's get into it. So first things first, we actually need to head to Stream Elements website and to Streamlabs and make sure we're signed in on both accounts. So what you'll do is, I'll go ahead and take myself over there. I want you to make sure that you're signed into your Streamlabs into the account that you want to import. For me, I'm signed into Twitch. And then over on Stream Elements, I'm actually signed into Twitch as well. If you don't have an account, make sure you create an account. Once you've done that, over on Stream Elements, you're going to click your icon in the top right and you're going to see Import. And from here, you're going to be able to choose Stream Labs or you can go to the screen, whichever the case. Once you click it, it's going to take you to the Chrome Web Store. You will need Google Chrome to do this. I should probably preface this. You will need to go ahead and install this extension. And then from here, you'll actually turn the extension on and it'll have this part up at the top. It'll say start import to stream elements and it'll say, do you want to import your tips as well as your alerts? I would say just go ahead, especially since you're trying to convert fully, click it. It'll say uploading assets and it's done. Your alerts have been converted to stream elements just like that. So let me go over to stream elements and I'm actually going to go into my, I think it's streaming tools, my overlays. And you're going to see right here, stream labs imported alert box that easy. So if I pull mine up just so that we can show you my alert box one, I think my follower, if I choose it, it's just Pokemon. Yeah. So it's just Pokemon. It says Amelia is now falling. And then over on, Streamlabs, just to show you it's the exact same thing. It is the Pokemon with that. So everything's converted, sound, all of that's pushed over. As long as you've had it set up in Streamlabs, it's now over there. And it's really easy. It's just a browser source and an overlay URL, just like you've used for your other alerts. Second is to make sure you convert your actual donation from Streamlabs to Stream Elements. This is important. Make sure you go into revenue and fill out all of the information you have in here, such as your sponsorships, partnerships. I'm not sure what all you have in comparison to mine, but make sure you go ahead and put in your PayPal and change your links on your pages, like your donation pages or any kind of bot you're using. Change those over. Speaking of bot, there is a bot that you can use. So over on Streamlabs, uh, this is the best way to do it is to go ahead and pull up your bot. I think it's called CloudBot. And then you can go to your timers and your commands. And then over on Stream Elements, do the same thing. Timers and commands. And just copy and paste everything over. It's the same thing, just like how much time you're going to put in between each message or how many chat lines need to happen. Same thing. Just go ahead and copy and paste all that over. Take care of your bot. And make sure you turn off CloudBot. Uh, over on Streamlabs so that it is not posting and that you actually get Stream Elements to join your channel by actually going to uh, Data and Reports, Dashboard, and then under Bot Settings, hit Join Channel. And then now that bot's there. I think you have to add it as moderator. So make sure you do that as well. And lastly, hello, you're going to see me 10,000 times, but lastly, over in the OBS, make sure you actually go up here to Scene Collection and Import and mine's not going to show up because I don't have Stream Elements or Streamlabs OBS currently installed. But if you do have Streamlabs OBS installed at the same time as OBS, you're going to be able to see all of your overlays that you've had. Choose the ones you want, hit import, and now you've got your overlays under scene collection where you'll be able to go through and change. Like I have glitch, glitch copy, a Twitch, and a YouTube. You'll be able to choose yours. The only thing you'll need to do is to actually go back and maybe change your alert box browser URL to the stream elements. And you're going to have to put in your display capture, game captures, and your webcams. And that's pretty much it. This is a really quick video. If you want a full OBS tutorial like I did on my Streamlabs OBS tutorial, go ahead and put in the comments and I can work on one of those. It's essentially the same thing as Streamlabs OBS. It's just a different interface, kind of a little easier and it runs so much cleaner on your system. So I hope this helps you convert 
over to OBS from Streamlabs, especially if you're jumping ship, and uh, I hope you enjoy that. I'm Brandon, and welcome to the darkness. We'll catch you next time.